What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Des360 signing in here with the uh, lovely Andrea. Hi. <laughs> and today we are actually um, going on a little adventure uh, to pay homage to somebody that has had such a positive influence and huge impact on my life. Someone I look up to, continue to look up to, and every single day I think about this person and every single thing I do I actually is uh, is influenced by this person and everything that he's taught me. So today we're going to go pay homage and search uh, for Kobe Bryant's gravesite uh, at the uh, at the memorial here at uh, I think it's called Pacific Pacific Grove Pacific View in Corona Del Mar. So um, yeah, stay tuned. The thing about it is Kobe's buried and Gianna Bryant, and um, there isn't a specific place. You know, it's not. It's not known, it's not public, uh, meaning it's not like here Here lies Kobe, here lies Gianna. It's private and that's because the family, I'm um, sure they don't want it to become a pure tourist attraction, but um, we're just gonna go there to the memorial um, and just pay our respects. If we end up finding the exact location, great, but I think more importantly is just going there and, and, and saying thank you. Um, super important so i'm glad that uh, andrea can be here with me and uh, she actually got to meet kobe so maybe you could tell your quick kobe story um i was <laughs> i was at wango tango and we were sitting in the front and he was there too um and my aunt asked if we can take a picture with him and i was like eight or nine years old and i was and we just I was with my cousins, it was like six of us, and we were all taking a picture with this really nice guy who was like so down to take a picture of us, take take a picture with us, um, and I was jealous that my cousin Mimi got to sit on his lap, I wanted to sit on his lap, but whatever. We all took a picture, and he was really nice. I just remember him being really nice, you know, wanting to take a picture of these like little kids that admired him and liked him. <laughs> so I, I always say that I'm connected to Kobe still, and I, you know, I didn't physically get to meet him, and that was a huge goal of mine, um, but I got to meet him through my wife, so I'm really happy for that, and um, we'll keep you guys posted, take you along on this trip so you can pay your homage as well. So we're pulling up here, um, Pacific View Memorial Park, and it just opened, so we're gonna, we're gonna drive around. It's beautiful and peaceful here, and can already feel the, the love and energy from everyone who resides here. All right, you guys, so we're gonna park and just kind of walk around. Um, I will say one thing, I have done some research and there's a video and a lot of people thought that Kobe's buried in one particular location, um, but I don't think that's the case. There was actually the mother of the woman that's actually buried there and she said, no, this is where my daughter is buried, so I'll show you guys. Okay guys, so as I was saying, a lot of people think that um, Kobe and Gianna are buried at a specific location, um, but I did do some research and one lady said that no, that's where her daughter is buried. So I'm just gonna show you guys a couple areas and what people think is where he is. So here, pulling up. It's very beautiful, very peaceful. And um, well, you can see this over here with all the beautiful colors. Um, this is actually where they believe that he is, Kobe and Gianna Bryant. Um, and as I mentioned, the family has elected to keep it private, so you won't really know but a woman was here and said that this is where her daughter is buried. So. So we personally, um, you know, we're just paying our respects, like I said, to everyone um, here. Cause it's an, it's just, you could just feel the energy. And as I mentioned, it's, it's love. So we're just going to walk around and search and, like I said, pay our respects. Yeah. 
as we mentioned, the, the grave site is going to be unmarked, so you really won't know exactly where it is. And honestly, there, you know, there still is a feeling that we get around here, so we had to come back, you know, and I feel like even if it was a spot, of course, they might put out some type of story to say it's not because you know, you'd want that type of somewhat privacy. And um, you have this plot here. And one thing I know is that it's, there are multiple plots. Um, so it could be right here. At the end of the day, it's love. And I'm sure that they feel our energy and It's like we felt their energy whole lives so I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say what Kobe has taught me and Kobe Bryant has taught me to truly just believe in yourself if you want something to happen be willing to put in and do whatever it takes to get there um, as long as you're staying true to yourself staying true to your message staying true to your own story Kobe taught me how to harness energy, right? Uh, the power of alchemy to take maybe negativity, doubts, and translate that and turn that into somehow positivity and inspiration along your journey. So I'm truly thankful for that. And I've really applied it to every single thing I do in life as an entrepreneur, as someone who has ventured out into various spaces um when i went to go play in the philippines going to do new country new land new place with just myself and firm belief um, and those are things that haven't been instilled in me of course number one by my parents but then also by figures such as a kobe bryant um being able to watch him every day watch him work and I, like i said i always had that vision of working with him and um meeting him and although i guess you could say it's not not technically going to physically happen in that regard um i still feel that you know kobe's story 100 percent lives on and that's one of the last things that i remember hearing from kobe is the story goes on the story goes on so you know i'm gonna keep pushing in kobe's story forward in my craft my art the way i conduct myself um and in my overall message and journey i definitely pay homage here and, and a lot of love for his daughter who was a huge game changer and already did so many things that at the age of you know 13 so I could just smile and I'm glad that I got to come here and pay pay my whole my honest respect and yeah Okay guys, so we're heading out and I do want to say something to anyone that believes this is in any way, shape or form disrespectful. This video is not intended to do so. This video is intended to um, basically give some additional insight and even some closure. For me, it is a form of closure. You know, there are a lot of people that Kobe Bryant has affected um, in so many ways. And a lot of us want to know, just kind of have that peace. Where is he at? And how can we kind of say that? final goodbye or, or whatever it may be um so i just want to do this video to add some some clarity there um i mean i live in california and you know i didn't go on a super far journey i just so happened to be out here for this weekend so i, I get to check out the spot there are a lot of people that you know aren't in california that have love for kobe and just kind of you know i hope everyone could appreciate this and take the positivity from it you know um because that's what it's intended to do, to shine a light on two stars, two beams of light that have um, done so much for, for us. Um, to everyone else here, like I said, it's much love. Thank you guys for watching and um, we'll see you on the next video, okay? Bye.